Lewis here. Welcome to another episode of Washing Dishes. Uh, this episode, I'm just talking to my online students. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a disclaimer right now. Everything I'm about to say to you, I say in love. So before you stop watching this video because you're going to get mad with me, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that now. Listen to the entire video. Don't just stop because you're getting ready to hear an answer you don't want to hear, but you need to listen for my reasoning behind it because that's more important than the answer you're about to receive. So, what am I talking about? Since Sunday night, I have received several emails. I need some more water in my... I have received several emails. Uh, here, here are my the most common emails, and, and they're then in this form or some fashion. Uh, first one, Mr. Lewis, uh, I, here is my lab. I was not able to submit it into Moodle on time. Will you accept it? The next one, Mr. Lewis, here is the show your work form for my test. I was not able to submit it on time. Will you uh, accept it? Mr. Lewis, I submitted the wrong paperwork for my lab. Here is the correct one. Will you accept it? And this is my personal favorite one, guys. It really is. Mr. Lewis, as you can see, I submitted my assignment at tried to, no, how it go? I tried to submit my assignment at 1150 1154, but Moodle kicked me out. Will you accept it? All right. You already can figure out what my answer is to all four of those questions. The answer is no, I will not accept them. Um, now, here's the reason why. Since day one, I have warned you over and over again not to wait until the last minute. All of those people that answer those questions, just about every last one of them, I've been watching Moodle. I've been watching my math lab. Did not start their homework until Sunday afternoon. Okay? Just about everybody who fell within that category. I actually had some people who never even got into my math lab until like 6 p.m. Sunday night. And you waited until, literally waited then. And my personal favorite was I had somebody literally, not just figuratively, but literally wait till 11.54 to submit their assignment. All right? You were warned multiple occasions since day one not to do that. Okay? And because of that, it was in my syllabus. It's in the, it was in my welcome video. And it was also in the very first assignment you were supposed to do. It's also talking, it was also in, uh, I believe, in the syllabus quiz. It has been in just about every email I have ever sent you. It has been in just about every video that I have sent you like this. You've been warned. And so you test, you're basically, it's like, no, he didn't mean what he said. Yes, it did. All right. I debated about that for a long time. That's one reason why all of you who have sent me those emails have not received a response until now was because of the simple fact I, I wanted to be a nice guy. I wanted to like, yep, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. And I thought, no, I warned you. I even, in one place, I actually even say, don't wait until last minute it, because technical issues may happen. I even told you that. And because I got gave you all those warnings, Ethically, I cannot accept it. Not because I don't want to. I would really love to accept it. But my hands are physically literally like tied right now because of the syllabus policies that have been set forth. Okay? And if I break those rules for you, it's not fair to all the other people that I didn't break those rules to. Does that make sense? It's not because I don't like you. That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with the fact that you didn't listen and you didn't follow my policy. That's what this is about. Now, uh, what does it, so what you need to do is uh, a life lesson here. When your boss tells you to do something, your job is to do it. What happens when you don't? Eventually you get fired. So let this be a life lesson. Don't make the same mistake twice. All right, so what does that mean for you as your grades? All right, first off, let's talk about the lab because that one's easy. You got a zero and it affects your grade. It means that you will, it just hurts you, okay? Um, now it doesn't hurt you as bad as you think. That's the first thing you need to understand. It doesn't affect you as bad as you think, but it does hurt you. Uh, it is a zero. All right, so that one's simple. All right, the 
show your work is a little bit more complicated. So try to, uh, I'm going to try to explain this to the best of my ability. Hopefully you'll understand. You either A, got a 100 on the show your work or a zero for show your, show your work. And that, a, that 100 means that I saw, I, I received your work and accepted it. And the zero means I didn't get it. But what it doesn't mean, uh, let me re re say this. Those zeros and the 100s, long story short, do not count for you or against you in your final grade. All right? They, that's part of your test. The 100 just means that I got it. The zero means I didn't get it. So it's not going to affect your grade one way or the other. All right? Um, I don't have a way of Moodle, not right at the moment, that says, hey, I got this. No, I didn't get this. I don't have a way of showing that, so I have to show it by either 100 or 0. So that grade that you see in Moodle is not affecting you one way or the other. Now, what does affect you is uh, this. If you, uh, uh, here, prime example, I, I, here's a good example. I had a person who made a 68, something like that, and they took the test, got a 68 on it, and turned in their show your work on time for me. I looked at the show your work, and I went to the problems that they got wrong. I'm like, okay, I see what you did here. I'm going to give you partial credit. And I went through all the problems that they got wrong, and wherever I saw partial credit where it deserved, they got partial credit. And so instead of just getting the whole question wrong, you get some of those points back. So that person who got like a 68 went up seven points and got a 75 on the test because they just made some simple errors, but they actually did a really good job on the test. Uh, they just made some final errors, rounding errors and stuff like that. Now that doesn't mean that everybody went up so many points. I had some people I'd look at and like, well, you didn't even show your work, so you don't get any points. Or I looked at it like, I have no clue what you're saying. You don't get any points, all right? Uh, not hurt to saying that to hurt your feelings, but there's sometimes I'm looking at your stuff, I have no idea what you're doing. And because I don't think you do either. <laughs> Alright, don't take that the wrong way, but that's just kind of the way life is, right? Okay, so, on average, most people went up about five points. Uh, for those of you who got a B and didn't turn your show your work, you're like, yeah, I got a B. Stop patting yourself on the back because you could have had an A but you didn't turn it in on time, all right? So that's how Show Your Work works. And uh, so we talked about labs, talked about how Show Your Work works. Uh, lab grades, for those of you who did turn in your lab on time, you do not have a grade yet. You'll probably have a grade for that lab by probably middle of next week. I hope sooner, but it's not a guarantee, but at least by middle of next week. So just be aware of that. Um, you'll see that soon. Uh, test grades. Now, not everything was bad. I don't want to talk, spend 10 minutes talking about bad stuff. Let's talk about good stuff. Even with people who not didn't turn in to show your work, I was, ex oh man, y'all have no idea how happy I am with y'all's grades on this module one. This is the best set of grades I have ever seen in teaching my online classes. Y'all have done phenomenal. The lowest grade I saw was like a C. Uh, and everybody else made higher than that. Now, yeah, some of you should have made A's, but we're not talking about that anymore. You did good, guys. You did good. Even though, even if you waited till the last minute, you did good. All right, so I am very pleased with those grades. Um, good job. I mean, really good job. I actually was bragging about you guys, believe it or not, to the office, to some of the other teachers, because I have not seen those good grades before. I was really pleased with them. And I do mean that. I really do. I'm not just trying to blow smoke, okay? Um, now, so the test grades were really good. I can't stress that. That was awesome. And uh, it really was. But um, test grades were good. So, uh, let's see. What else we want to talk about? Ah, I got a list of things I want to mention to you. Uh, new material. All right, new material. Module 2 is now up. I was going to do it on Sunday, turn it on, on Sunday, but I decided against it because I knew people were still trying to test. Listen, it's okay to test on the last day. That's not what I'm saying. But what is bad is testing like the last, the last, the 11 o'clock or the last day. Try not to do that again. All right. But um, 
Anyway, I knew people were testing, so I waited until yesterday to post the new material. New material is geometry, and I'm not going to lie to you. Geometry tends to be the hardest test in the entire semester. Uh, a lot of people just don't like geometry because it makes them uncomfortable. All right, so I'm not going to lie to you on that. You got and so if you already don't feel comfortable in math, geometry is going to be hard for you. All right. So what can you do to avoid bad grades? Well, I'm going to say it again. Work ahead. Don't wait until the last minute. All right. If you wait until 6 p.m. on the last day of Module 2 to try to do in all your stuff, that is just a stupid idea, all right? I can't stress that enough. I'm begging you not to do it again. All right, so Module 2 is on geometry. Your first set of notes is due on, I think, I can't say this for sure. I think it's Thursday. I think I think Thursday on the 23rd or something like that. I could be wrong on that. Double check me. I don't have it up here. I apologize on that. But go ahead and get those notes in. Once you get those notes in, go to your next set of notes. Don't wait until the last day. Like, oh, it's due on the 25th. So I'm going to wait until the 25th to do it. Knock it out as soon as you can, all right? Try to get you a schedule set up where you can work on it. I know you don't want to. I know you hate math. I hate math too. Nobody likes it, okay? But you got a job to do. Try to work ahead. All right, once you get those videos done, work on your homework. Don't wait. Start it then, okay? Um, there are some questions that I do not cover in the video with you, um, and I'm expecting to hear, uh, I, you should be, I should hear some emails from you very soon, like, I don't get how to do this question, and that's what I'm expecting to see, and if you're not doing that, it means you're not doing your work, all right? Um, there's going to be a few questions you're going to have struggles with, uh, and shoot me an email, all right? So, module two is going to be tough. Don't wait till the last minute. I'm very pleased with the grades on, t on module one. I really am. Uh, I would have been a whole lot happier with several of you if you had turned them in early. There's your lump. There's your there's your uh, beating on that. Oh, last thing, and then we need to go. I'm gonna cut you off because I'm on about 12 and a half minutes now. All right. So policy states that you can have. You cannot either miss five assignments. Or miss a total of two tests. Right now, nobody's sitting at the two test mark, so I'm not worried about that. Everybody's taking their test. But I have some of you who've missed a couple of assignments. You've missed either one or two assignments, okay? Uh, those assignments that you've missed happen to be um, either you didn't turn in your notes. That's actually what most of them are. You, you didn't turn in your notes or you didn't turn in your lab. All right, so and remember that show your work doesn't count against you this time, it doesn't count against you. But if you didn't turn in your lab and you missed a set of notes, that's two assignments you missed. So you got three assignments left. That all right? So you don't need to mess up anymore. That doesn't mean like oh I can miss five assignments. No, if you miss five assignments, you're gone. Oh, that means I can skip four assignments. Okay, well yeah, you can skip four assignments, but it's gonna bite your butt. All right? Because here's the thing: if you skip homework assignments, you can't take the test. All right? So be aware of that, all right? So some of you are already got um, maybe two zeros against you, one being a lab and one being a, a note assignment. Don't mess up anymore, okay? I'm begging you. This is your warning. Um, I'm not going to hold your hand. I really am not. I'm not your mama. I'm not your daddy. Your job is to keep track of what you're going. So again, get those notes turned into me because they count against you or in count against you if you don't turn them in make sure you're doing your homework because that counts big time and make sure you're getting those tests done that counts big time so that's pretty much it guys i know this this episode has been a lot of me kind of pushing you down and kind of slapping you around a little bit but sometimes we all need a good slap, I guess, so to let us know what we need to do. My job, that's kind of part of what this video is about. I don't want you bad. don't want you upset. I want you to learn. I want you to learn not to make the same mistakes again. All right? 
If you have any other questions um, pertaining to this, if you're not really understanding some things, email me and I'll try to help you out. But hopefully this video clarifies some stuff. And again, I'm not mad with you. I'm disappointed. I want you to understand that I'm really not mad with any of you. I'm not doing this out of anger. Um, I'm doing it because I have to. I can't, I'm ethically obligated to follow my rules. All right, guys, that's been 15 minutes. I'm done. See you later. Good luck.